It was a one-of-a-kind bucket brigade of average Janes and famous Georges and Jimmies. I mean, it just kept accumulating. In all, $115 million was raised, much of it for research about this disease that attacks the body's motor nerves and ultimately leads to paralysis of voluntary muscles. What that did for research in ALS cannot be overstated. Mayo Clinic neurologist Dr. Eric Sorensen, there on the right, says... Ah! The challenge has created an unparalleled period of partnership and discovery. It's sped up our understanding of ALS. It's sped up the rate of collaboration. And that collaboration speeds up breakthroughs, like the identification of a new ALS gene called NEK1, a genetic contributor to ALS and a promising new target for drug development. Every gene we discover is very important to our understanding of why this disease happens. And really, that's the first step towards curing it. And that's something worth cheering about. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jeff Olson.